Baruch Hashem, today is day number 259 of our daily study of Rambam Sefer Mitzvahs. And in the three chapters a day study track of Mishnah Torah, we're continuing in Hilchas Retzeh Hushmiras Anefesh, which we began yesterday. We're doing chapters two, three, and four of those laws. And our mitzvahs today are related to the inadvertent murderer. Um, what we would call manslaughter. So positive commandment 225 is that somebody who is guilty of an accident of mistakenly murdering somebody else, taking a life, I guess it's not called murder in in English, it's called manslaughter. Um, His penalty, I mentioned yesterday that somebody who commits murder, the penalty is capital punishment. So that would be somebody who does it intentionally. Here we're talking about an accident. Um, In that case, the penalty is exile, specifically exile to cities of refuge. It's not exile like go wander in the desert. Exile means that there are specific cities of refuge that were established that were absorption centers where somebody who committed such a crime, God forbid, would go to be safely harbored um, and they would be protected there. Now, if they would leave the city of refuge, um, then they would have no protection and somebody could avenge the death of the of the victim. But as long as they were in the city of refuge, they were okay and it was in fact a mitzvah, it was a commandment For them to go there. All right. Negative commandment 296. This is similar to what we learned yesterday, the prohibition against receiving koifer or what we call ransom, where somebody wants to buy his way out of the death penalty if he's a murderer. Well, this is not exactly the same, but it's very similar. Negative commandment 296 is the prohibition against receiving such a payment from an inadvertent murderer. In other words, Instead of going to the city of refuge, he says, oh, tell me a number. I'll write a check. Let, let me know what, what donation I can make that I don't have to go to the city of refuge. We're not allowed to make that deal. It's a specific prohibition. Okay. Uh, uh, negative commandment 292 is the prohibition against executing a criminal who's guilty of capital punishment before he receives due process before the rabbinical court. And and that means even if members of the high court themselves, talking about judges on the high court, let's say they witness somebody commit a capital offense, they can't just go and be judge, jury, and executioner on the spot. They have to go and Follow the procedure. They, If they witnessed such a crime, then they should go as witnesses to another panel of judges. Now they can't be judges anymore because they're witnesses, and they have to go as witnesses before another panel of judges who will then sentence the person to death and carry it out in the proper way. But to do it, even if the person who, who saw it is an expert and he's otherwise capable of, of handing down such sentences, it's, it's not the way that we do it. There has to be due process, and it's a specific uh, prohibition if that is uh, bypassed. Okay, those are our mitzvahs for today. We'll see you tomorrow for more, God willing.